hello everyone it's me asmrif welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the process of male portrait or man portrait photography editing so photo was like that the non-edited image but i just made it like that so here i used three or four things first one i used a preset so the preset i made earlier and i'll give you that preset download link in my video description and then i used a fake bokeh that means light and i'll give you that download link as well and i use a photo filter and then here uh, color code you can use this color code i'll give you that color code in my video description so if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and new tutorials every day so let's start the tutorial i'm closing it up and go to the file and open up here i downloaded an image and uh, i'll give you that download link in my video description so this one is non edited image and press ctrl j for the backup purpose a new copy of this layer and after that go to the filter camera filter this camera filter you know that uh, the creative cloud version you are getting this one by default otherwise you have to install it manually if you want to install it manually in your photoshop or cs version of photoshop you can check out my video description i'll provide there the download link here is small menu and go to the load settings options here man photo this preset this xmp file and open it up you'll get a nice look over there so let's see what is here so if you need you can change up the lights and other stuff so here are all the assumptions so let's see the setup before one and after one yeah that's fine i'm making it zoom okay fine the exposure that is 0 0.05 or 50 and the contrast that is plus 28 highlights minus 72 for clear view of the skin and here the blacks minus 18 and the clarity plus 14 for the sharpen view and the variance 10 plus 10 and saturation plus 10 and here i used i didn't used any kind of tone curve i used some sharpening amount of sharpening that is in a detail bar that is 38 uh, amount of sharpening and the radius 1.0 and detail 25 and the rest of the thing is as well so the hsl panel that is the most important thing in this photo so hue of the red color that is plus 24 and the saturation plus 34 and luminance i didn't touch that so orange luminance i made it plus 42 and the yellow luminance i made it plus 14 and green that is zero and aqua minus 13 and blue minus 40 so rest of the thing is zero and the saturation i made it or saturation minus 53 yellow minus 75 green 83 minus 83 and aqua minus 88 and blues that is minus 87 or 78 here the purple 79 so after that split toning highlight of the split toning value is 123 and the saturation 17 balance zero percent and here hue of the shadow that is 228 or 228 and the saturation 10 percent and now here is the effects and i dehazed it like a plus 13 and i used amount of uh, like uh, the vignette that is uh, minus 13 and the other thing is as well so from the camera calibration i'm getting here the red primary color value plus 39 saturation plus 34 and green primary value 38 and plus 23 of the saturation green primary and the primary blue color that is uh, minus 30 and saturation plus 22 and hit the ok button you are getting amazing look of these photographs so after that i will add a light bokeh over here so go to the file and place embedded options and here i downloaded a light bokeh so i'll fit it up by pressing the uh, alter button or shift button you can just uh, make it bigger like that so i'll make it bigger and just make the position in a proper way so hit the tick button and then right press and restylize this layer and go to the blending mode and make it a screen so you're getting like that you can just adjust the light and other stuffs if you need 
so that's fine and then go to the adjustment layer and go to the solid color now you can find out the color so hit the ok button and then go to the blending mode and make it soft light yes that's fine i'll provide you color code of the photo filter that means the fill color so you're getting the image from here this one was non-edited image and you're getting like that so this one is amazing result so if you need you can change the other stuffs and like all the things so you can select all the things and make it group and make it merge after that filter and the nick collection and color effects pro 4 this one is another plugins of the photoshop version and you can use it in your any kind of photoshop version and here are lots of filters and other stuffs so from here i'm using the cross processing this this one and here are lots of method you can use one of them and you can choose one of them so in this case i'll use this one so i'll d haze or just i will make the strength 17 percent that's good and hit the ok button it's taking time to make your photographs more amazing and uh, it will be loaded up and give you the final output so this one is a final output the before one was like that normal image but uh, for the flavor or new ambient lights or other stuffs you can add the fake bokeh or the extra light bokeh and extra color corrections and color contrast in your photographs it will make your photographs more amazing so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and if you need to download the other like resource file please check out my video description i'll give over there everything that means the all resource file i've used in these tutorials so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and until the next video i am ac marvi signing out today bye, -bye.